Today, we're making chicken cacciatore. Let's start off with one third cup of oil. We're gonna get it nice and hot. I put my chicken in just some flour. I didn't season it or anything. And we're going to let it brown on each side for about seven minutes or so. So I mentioned in the thumbnail that this is an award-winning dish and it really is. I will show you a picture right here. This is my son-in-law who is with the runner-up who happens to be his sister. And here's my daughter giving out the rest of it. There's just a little bit. Every year we have this little town that has a Dutch oven contest and that's where he won it at. So <clears throat> it's pretty cool. So, all right, it's been seven minutes. We're gonna start flipping it over. We're not gonna touch anything as far as seasonings quite yet. So just gonna let it hang out on this side for an additional seven minutes. Okay, it's been seven minutes, so let's go in here and take a peek at them and see how they're doing. All right, it looks like they are ready to be pulled out, so we're just gonna go ahead and um, put these on a paper towel for just a minute because we need to drain out some of our oil. All right, so we do wanna keep those little brown chunks in the bottom of it because even though we haven't seasoned it yet, it still has flavoring. All right, let's go ahead and add in our onions, bell pepper, and our mushrooms. So I just did a rough chop with those. I'm gonna add in two cans of diced tomatoes and one can of just tomato sauce, just a small can. All right, gonna go ahead and kind of stir that around a little bit here. And now we're gonna get ready to start seasoning it up. If you've been watching my channel at all, you know I love this stuff. It's called Suzy Q. It's my favorite seasoning and it's made right here in my very own town. So look at the ingredients. They're very, very simple and it's everything that you could possibly need to go in any dish. I'm telling you, I use this on everything. And then we're gonna go in with some um, dried oregano. Now I'm using dried oregano. They use, my son-in-law, he uses fresh, of course, but I don't have fresh oregano and I certainly don't have fresh basil. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I did have a little garden going in my, in my little patio, but it's not doing very well anymore. All right. So I've used the dry stuff now. Um, anyway, we're just going to add in some salt and some pepper. That's it. Now I'm gonna mix those um, seasonings down in all of that sauce, that tomato sauce, and, and get it all incorporated, kind of. I don't wanna pull the skin off or mess up the chicken too, too much, but I kinda of wanna start shoving everything down there. All right, so we're gonna let it bring up to a boil, and then we're gonna cover it up. So, oh my gosh, I almost forgot the garlic and the Italian seasoning, which I forgot to record the Italian seasoning. <laughs> anyway, it's just, you just sprinkle it right on there. So that is it, we're gonna, cover it up and we're gonna let it hang out there for 35 minutes. I did it at 35 minutes, but it wasn't quite ready yet. So I did leave it in for about 45 minutes total. And this is what it looks like. I served mine with some um, with some uh, egg noodles because that's what they use. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I have to copy them. So look at this sauce, you guys. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. My house smells so amazing. I'm not a big skin eater, but I know that it adds more flavor. I do love how it comes right off the bone. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna mute this part so you don't have to listen to me blow on it and huff and puff and uh, <laughs> and all that fun stuff, chewing on it and slurping. I'm slurping like crazy. But look how it just falls off the bone. Isn't that amazing? All right, let me give you my honest review right now. This is delicious. Okay, I can totally see why he won an award for this because this is delicious, very simple, and oh my goodness, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.